So when I first started doing Mythbusters and I started meeting some other famous people, I noticed that it was nice to meet famous people, certainly. And I know, why am I talking about this in front of a cruise ship? Bear with me. What I learned is that I really gravitated towards meeting the showrunners and the producers. I am always fascinated by the people managing the logistics of extremely large projects. And when you're talking about extremely large projects, it's actually impossible to get bigger than this. This is the largest cruise ship ever built in Italy, ever built in this shipyard. And so I'm about to talk to the project director of the ship itself, Marco, and Cristiano, the director of the entire shipyard, about the gargantuan, inconceivable number of person hours, of steel, of materials, of construction projects that execute something like this in the 10 months it took to build this. 10 months. It took longer for me to renovate my two sons' bedrooms than it took them to build this ship. I'm dying to get their perspective on how you do something like this. Okay, so you manage this whole shipyard. No, I manage this this construction. This I'm the, construction? Yeah. I'm okay. This project. I'm this... head of production line. I'm in charge for some Princess project. Now, today is the day they're floating it out. Yeah. Is that an emotional day? Yeah, it's very, it's very emotional for us. We are very, very excited because it's the first milestone of the ship. It's the first day when the ship meets the water and it passed the entire life, she entire life in the water. So we are very, very excited to be here today. How many, how many float outs have you done? Oh, so many, many, to be honest. <laughs> I, I don't know the quantity, but I guess that uh, approximately 30 or 40 float outs. Wow. This arrives on your desk. How many, how many years ago did you first see this project? On my desk, this project uh, uh, was nine months ago. That's when, it? Yeah, when we started the dry dock, the, the dry dock phase, and we built 950 blocks that became right after 110 section yeah in the total 30,000 tons of steel plus at, at the end 6,000 kilometers of electrical wire will be applied there lay down now I came through the gate this morning yeah and I can't conceive of how many tons are coming through every minute nine months doesn't sound like enough time to even get all this material through a gate Today, the, the, the displacement, so this means the weight yeah. of the ship, uh, is uh, 60,000 tons. 60,000 tons. Yeah. The um, displacement, I mean. What is the most stressful part of a project like this? In terms uh, of uh, preparation, you mean? Yeah. Uh, so the uh, coordination of all the people that stay on board, we are speaking about 6,000 people or more during the final, final phase of the construction. Is that 6,000 working constantly? Yeah, yeah. and uh, be sure that the safety are, uh, the, uh, the safety rules are applied right. all the time, 24 yeah. hours, because for us, safety first, safety is our priority. And you're going 24 hours, three shifts? Yeah, all the ships are going on 24 hours on three shifts. It's dependent on the phase, but uh, we are working in order to be on time on the market and to maintain our, uh, let's say, engagement, uh, we have to be sure and we will work uh, 24 hours where necessary. And this is the largest cruise ship ever built, not only in this shipyard, but in Italy. In Fincantieri, it's the biggest ship ever in Fincantieri and at our shipyard. It's the first uh, project uh, fueled by LNG, uh, the first project uh, for, for us uh, with the air bubble system mm -hmm. that increase uh, the high efficiency. So at the end, the ships require less fuel and less consumption. So the footprint uh, at the end uh, is better compared to the other, the other ship. So when you're bringing a system like the air lubrication system, is that something the shipyard is researching and bringing to the client to help them execute? Normally, this kind of project uh, uh, are prepared together. So shipyard and Fincantieri and the owner in order to meet uh, at some time be ahead and behind their expectation. I know that some of the parts of this are built in Norway and some in other parts of the world. Are you flying all over the place to keep track sometime, of some of this? Sometimes, yes. The, the, the central part of the ship has been built in at our shipyard in Var Tulcha in Romania. Yeah. And I've been there to, to follow some phases of the construction. And you guys are, like you said, you're building separate pieces here in the shipyard yeah. that you're bringing together. Yeah. That's the only way something this large can come together. Is the, is the way that uh, allow us uh, to reduce as much as possible the dry dock period. Because uh, dry dock, uh, you have one dry dock at every shipyard. In order to be 
Uh, oh, I didn't to realize increase, that. To increase the production, uh, you have to be sure that the dry dock time will be as less as possible. I that, didn't that's realize why, that. That's why we, we prepare different pieces uh, of the ship uh, in different shipyards, uh, then uh, are, are joined here, for example, in uh, nine months. Uh, then uh, we are ready, in one week, uh, we'll be ready with another project here. No way! <laughs> Since uh, I started uh, on the engine room, okay? Yeah. Many, many years ago, my favorite part is the technical part. Yeah. So the engine room, the auxiliary room, then uh, another, another uh, amazing uh, part is the wheelhouse where the ship uh, will be conducted by the master, the captain. Up there. Yeah, yes, the, the wheelhouse. But there are, uh, for example, the theater is yeah. amazing where uh, the different uh, dancing uh, or uh, uh, performance in general are, has been, uh, will be performed. But on the ship, uh, we have to, to talk about the two spheres. One is on the atrium, yeah. okay, and one is on the top, is a geodetic sphere, yeah. where uh, to, uh, there will be a pool and uh, the performance artist that can be on the top. So it will be really amazing. So if you like the engine room, is it very exciting to bring in the LNG engines, a new technology? Yeah, yeah. Using new technology for, uh, for us uh, is uh, uh, very important because it uh, allows us to be on the hedge on yeah, yeah. and uh, conduct and build a ship that are more environment friendly. That is a key point for Ficantieri. And, is the and so the shipyard is always researching new yeah, environmentally? We research, yeah, we research different uh, uh, systems that uh, uh, make the ship more environmental friendly and with the less footprint. And so on this ship, the, 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 the air lubrication and the LNG are both brand new technologies. Yes. Um, are there other technologies that are coming in the future that you're excited about? Ah, okay. Today there are, we are, there are several talks about different fuel, methanol, for example, fuel cell. Yeah. There are different uh, uh, possi possibilities that we have to investigate. The, the, uh, the first thing uh, is to uh, start uh, to be prepared to industrialize this kind right. of technology. We have to to move uh, from uh, a prototype uh, to, let's say, a, a ship big like this. Yeah. Uh, if you started out in the engine room, do you sometimes get jealous of the new guys who are in the engine room because their <laughs> jobs are easier than yours was? No, no, to be, I, I, I'm not jealous. I will try to, uh, let's say, develop their, uh, uh, let's say, information, develop their uh, career yeah. also, because uh, I guess that uh, what the, the as a leader, let's say, the best thing is to move the people with you and, right. and try to, to increase their career in order to prepare for the future, be prepared for the future. Well, I would assume that also makes you better at your job if the team you've built yeah. is tight we are, and we smart. Are, we, are, we are one team and we have one goal. So, uh, to, to me, with, the, with, with my team, we have only one word. We will, we make it. Beautiful. Thank you so much. You are welcome. I really appreciate it. It's Ciao. a beautiful construction and congratulations today. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Christian. Yeah. I know that 10 months ago this dry dock was empty, mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean it's only 10 months of work to get here. Your job started a long time ago, right? Yeah. We almost started uh, two years ago. Yeah. Building the part of the ship named Troncone, which has been started to be built to 2020 in Romania. In Romania. Yeah. And this is this is this is like the central part of the ship. No, this is this forward part of the ship. Okay. And this forward part of the ship is like about 8,000 tons of steel. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's just a small part. This is the one third of the ship. Not one third. One quarter of the ship because the total uh, weight of the hull is 37,000 tons of steel. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I. I can't even conceive of that much coming through the gate here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, the yard is uh, is cutting all the steel outside of the shipyard. Yeah. And they are providing all these steel cutted plates by the gate. Everything is coming by truck. They are going in the prefabrication uh, workshop. And almost 975, as I remember, blocks of steel has been produced here. These are the smaller units. These are the smaller Small units, units that come together. Yeah, together. And the smaller units in all of this area of, let's say, what they are calling pre-assembly, are built in the sections. And right. after that, these sections are embarked in the dry dock. In the dry dock, about 108 embarkation, 100, 
five embarkation has been uh, done. A hundred and five separate? Separate embarkation has been done. Yeah. And uh, this has been done in the period of the seven and a half months. So this first section that comes from Romania, does it yes. sail over on a boat? Yes, sail over on the boat. Yeah. And then you yeah. put it in the dry dock and start building the boat start and building the ship from, Let's say it. starting from, let's say, this was the forward part of the ship, and after that we continued with the aft part, engine room area, and uh, later on uh, growing up in, uh, in the hot departments and the hotel area of the... Am I right now that this is going to clear this dry dock in the next couple of days? There's another one of those coming from Romania that we'll go back into? For sure, it? for sure, for sure. I think next week it's coming, the new one. Next week? Next week is already coming, so they need to do the preparation when this will float out a few days of preparation of the, uh, of let's say, of the of the building blocks downstairs, the blocks that all up. Are, which are holding everything, and uh, the new construction will start. So the thing that really I had to wrap my head around was that this isn't built like Legos, the way most people yes. think that things yes. get built. This is all built sort of at once, but then all these parts are brought together. Yes, yes. That, this is this is this is this is the reality. You know that uh, all uh, is not built at once. Everything has been done in in a, let's say one after another right but uh, finally you know you you can imagine that you need in the 240 days you need to embark 105 section so after all this work this is going to touch seawater the next day and it's going to leave is that a is that an emotional moment is that for like sure, your for sure. when, when, when the ship is touching uh, first time the seawater it's always emotional no yeah i'll bet so let's say one part one big part and challenging part has been done. Yeah. And now we can focus on other things. Now we can start uh, with pre-commissioning process, commissioning process, building of these uh, nice restaurants, yeah. cabins, installation, public areas, atrium, theater. With this ship and all of its new technologies, was there any part of the build out that was the most difficult or that caused you the most headaches? But let's say that uh, the volume of the steel, and you can see it inside of the dry dock, <laughs> that the dry dock is empty. There is no free space no. on the sides, not on the forward, or not on the aft part. So this volume is, is very huge, and this is the biggest ship ever built in Italy, and and the, from Fincatieri. The sheer number of, I'm a welder. Yeah. It strikes me that there must be people welding 24 hours a day for months just to put all these yes, pieces together. Yes, for sure, for sure, for you sure. You run three shifts a day. Yeah, they are. They were running, and not only the, 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 those people, even the people from the gantry cranes, they were running in three shifts wow. to, to, to maintain the, the, the pace and the, 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 the necessary working speed to achieve what is, was necessary in these seven and a half months during the dry docking period, because in the seven and a half months you have uh, 220 working, 200 days in total, no? Yeah, yeah. And uh, as I told you before, we had 105 embarkations. <laughs> so you can imagine every two days we need to embark something, no? Crazy. Yeah. Uh, I'm curious about what of the new technology, because this really seems like a platform for all sorts of brand new things mm -hmm. that Princess hasn't tried before. Is there any that you've been particularly excited about getting to see function? Yeah, this uh, LNG systems will be particular, yeah. no? and this is the let's say the the, the, the we as a corporation is uh, uh, as a Carnival Corporation ship building we had already experience and knowledge of the building the LNG ships, mm -hmm. but we were building the ships in in other places, right. not here in Ficatieri, not here in Morfacone. So it's a new technology. This for is the technology shipyard. for the shipyard. So this will be the biggest challenge and most interesting thing. When, when it's actually finally on the ocean, are you going to take a cruise on it? For sure. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a busman's holiday. Yeah, it's yeah, not a, it's yeah, a, you, yeah, you get to experience sure. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's for great. Sure, for sure, for sure. Christian, thank you so much. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you.